hi second grade welcome back uh so get ready with your materials that we were using last time i have my background paper i have my start of my coat of arms i have my scrolls that i'll be attaching and we're going to be attaching everything today so make sure you have all your pieces now what we're going to be doing today is coloring in our coat of arms so I always like to start with outlining my drawings in black marker or black crayon. And this really makes it pop from the background. So. Feel free to pause this at any time if I'm going too fast, especially since I am gonna be speeding up parts of this video so you don't have to sit and watch me sketch for the entire time. All right, so you'll see that I outlined everything with black marker, and I even went through with an eraser and I got rid of my extra pencil lines because I like to go through with the marker and kind of do any touch-ups that I didn't like so much with the pencil in the beginning. Now it is time to color. I'm gonna be coloring using my crayons. You can use crayons, you can use paints, you can use colored pencils, whatever you have at home. We're gonna start with our background colors. I want you to pick two different colors because we're going to be using only two colors for our backgrounds and speaking of cats look who wants to pass a visit this is corn <laughs> say hi corn hi she might be coming in and out of the picture all right i'm gonna pick purple because purple is my favorite color and then maybe i'll do this really pretty blue green color no, my background's blue green. I think I will instead do orange. There we go. Those are my two colors that I'm going to start with. So I have my purple and my orange color, and you'll see I actually already started coloring my background. And I'm going to be coloring in the whole background of my paintbrush section and my cat section. So these are diagonal from one another. I'm coloring this background and this background. I'm going to be using my orange to color this background and this background. Now I'm gonna speed this up so you don't have to sit and watch me color the entire time, but feel free to pause and rewind if you're unsure about a step and if you just need something repeated or you need more time to color. So I have my backgrounds colored. I have purple and purple, and then I have orange and orange. Now, I did only choose two colors because this really makes it look like that coat of arms. It almost has like a checkerboard look to it. My next step is, again, using my crayons. I'm gonna color in all of my objects. Now here the thing is I don't wanna use too much purple in my purple shapes because I don't want my objects to disappear into the background and I also don't want to use too much orange in my orange shapes. I really want these objects to stand out from the background. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color these in. I'm going to speed it up again for you, okay? Pick whatever colors you want and get really, really creative with your coloring here. You can even try to mix colors as you're going. You can use this much. And there you have my finished colored coat of arms. Now I actually got some crayon on my background paper, so I'm gonna flip that over so I can have a clean side. And it is time to start gluing our art together. So, like I said, you are gonna need a glue stick. So if you don't have that out, go ahead, grab your glue stick. This part is gonna be underneath. So I might even have it stick off the top a little bit and I'm gonna start off by gluing my art class banner. I'm gonna stick that right underneath, give it a good press. My next layer is going to be my actual shield. 
So I always like to glue on the art itself and not on the background because we don't want any of those icky glue stains on the background coming through. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue on this white piece of paper. And I want that to overlap a little bit, but I don't want to cover up my word. So there we go. Give it a good press. You guys know I like to do the bendy test to make sure I didn't miss any areas. So it looks like I'm missing a few areas. I can go in there and put a little bit more glue so it doesn't curl up. And right here, there we go. All right, and our last step is gonna be gluing on your name or your last name if you put that on this banner. And I think I can fit this whole one right there. And oh, maybe I'll go right there, there we go. Now, if you already decorated your background, that means you are finished. If you have a blank background like me, you might wanna use this opportunity using a marker or a crayon to um, maybe add any extra little decorations on your background. I think that can make it look very pretty. And this could even be something you hang in your house to represent your family or you. So here we go. I got my background decorations and voila! My artwork is complete. This is your very own coat of arms. I hope you guys did a great job. If you wanna attach a picture of it, I would love to see what you ended up coming up with. All right, great work, everybody. I miss you, and I can't wait to make art with you again next time. Bye.